So this is the graph of the original function, and now we need to graph what the derivative would look like. So the derivative is all about what's the slope of the tangent line. Well, to begin with, this is a horizontal line, and horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So that means that over here, when graphing the derivative, up to negative 1, it's 0 because this is keeping track of what's the slope. In here, the slope is always 0, so in here, the function is always 0. Next, there is a corner right here, so it went straight across and straight down, so that means that the derivative does not exist right there at that corner, so actually this needs to have an open circle say the derivative doesn't exist there. There's nothing there. And next, this is a line that has a slope of negative 1. So then go down here to negative 1 and between 0, where x is equal to 0, and negative 1 on that region, then the slope was always down here at negative 1. And here, it's undefined because it's straight on that side and curved on that side. And here, it's also undefined because this is a corner. And next, this looks like a parabola. And so the slope of the tangent line would go from, at the bottom would be 0, because it would be a horizontal tangent line, and then if you move over a little bit, the tangent line would look like this, have a slope of 1. Then go over here, and it's got a slope of 2, and then etc, etc. So it's going to get bigger, so it's going to start at 0, and then just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it would be something like this, a straight line that's going up, and the slope is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not staying the same.